pretty much everything I've ever bought. I wear jeans and a black shirt and have for 10 years. Mm. I wear everything as soon as I buy it. I'm like obsessed with clothing. <laughs> yeah, she wears everything. I have this great, uh, this great purple leather fringe jacket from the 80s. It's awesome. I, back in my hippie days in the 80s, I was a hippie had long hair and, you know, bell bottoms and all that. So I still have that jacket. No. I got so many pairs of leather pants that is freaking stupid. I was in coal chamber. <laughs> I saw a video the other day of like what I was wearing. I was like, holy fuck, dude, that was dumb. It was like this silk shirt, so that's probably it. That's like the only thing I can think of that I'm like, I will never wear that again. Uh, I bought a pair of spandex when I was 15, warm once, and that's it, to wrap. Probably some Outlander sneakers I bought that I shouldn't have, like crazy colors. I think I had a pair of silver ones. They were little, remind me of like Mork from well, Mork and Mindy. <laughs> Pink shirt. Well, one tour, I did a whole tour in tidy whities I wore some crazy shit. Talk about Skid Row. I wore this stupid plastic bat necklace. <laughs> that these guys made fun of me for forever. Corduroys. My mom got them for me a long time ago and I won't wear them. Yeah. Well, I've got like a, one of those studded wristbands. I bought it out and I was thinking, well, I'm gonna be right black metal with this one. Like, rocking around the festival, black metal, shades on. But I put it on and I just look like a dick, so I've never worn it. But I bought like like a, a really nice sleeveless shirt, you know, in, in actually in uh, Camden. You know, and but it was, I think it was a little too small. So every time I wear it, I just feel like. <laughs> Good job, by the way. Thank Great you. Recovery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know what? Pink Calvin Klein, is that good as that? Yeah, my ass actually comes around both ends. You can't no. follow that, can you? I've bought a heinous number of, of um, leather jackets that have got home and to put it on, I've been like, nah, and <laughs> just gone right in the wardrobe. You get a tingle down here, then it's a little weird. Dude, they were like white, lime green, yeah. and like peach striped pants and they were huge i just bought a red pair of vinyl pants yesterday in new york and i thought they were cool but uh, i'm not sure anymore so when we're touring the states ah it's a good cowboy shirt i'll wear that take it home and go what the fuck was i thinking i got these really i got these really short shorts that i like to wear occasionally yeah. i can't wear boxers i love my slippers they uh i have really um Big leg muscles. That's uh, that's also known as fat ass syndrome. I, man, man panties. Dude, it's silk underwear. It's a bad idea. So no, I just wear like little boy underwear. Probably involves leather waistcoats and trouser department. You know, whitey tidies, but they're not white. I like different colors, like green, blue, brown, black, whatever. So I don't have any. But I'm sure they feel fucking good. <laughs> they feel pretty. It good, would just give me a reason they, to itch my they, balls. But they, yeah, pink. I wear pink panties. I do. I do wear panties. I've got a banana hammock. You know that's. A banana hammock. Uh, it's basically two strings. It's like a floss for your junk, you know? And he pulls it off quite nice. I have a, a Puma vest that is skin tight. It's literally like painted on and it's pink. I wear it once on stage and never again. People kind of have to dress me because I don't know how to look. I guess I bought this bright yellow pair of trainers once and then I, I realized that wearing yellow is not the... Uh, Easiest thing to pull off. I've got a cowboy duster. I only ever wear amazing clothes. Uh, it's a, it's a, like a basically a trench coat. It's got like a like a, a hood. It, it's leather and then they they oil it down. It's a kind of the pale rider thing. Board shorts. I think I might have done parachute pants back in the day. One time I wore that to a Halloween party in in the middle of Colorado, which is freaking stupid because everybody there is a cowboy. Looks really cool, like on the model or something. And then I get it, and it's like, like you said, too many, you know, uh, what's it called? The uh, Diamante. Yeah, you know, it's too bling bling. You know, I put it on, I'm like, oh man. I had one, I had one covered in like, like a completely sequined shirt at one point in time, and I was like, this is awesome. And then you actually put it on, and you go, now I just look like a disco ball. It, I guess it was like a dress, and and uh, I don't, I don't know what possessed me to do it. So expensive, um, and then. Never no, wore it. good on you though, man. I was in Sweden once and I bought this sequined, it was sequins everywhere and it was, a, you've never seen what it, have t-shirt? It's like a long sleeve thing and it's sequins everywhere, you're like a disco ball. <laughs> and it was actually a good idea at the time and we went out in it, me and a mate of mine, and uh, it was a bad idea. But I have really disturbing stuff that I don't wear. Um, I used to have dungarees, I chucked them out. <laughs> Most of the time, you know, I, I wear uh, black stuff 
And sometimes I go like, okay, fuck, I need to change, you know, I'm gonna bring something with real colors. And then I, I chicken out, I'm like, no, I'm not gonna wear it. I've got a pretty out there hoodie, which has got loads of kind of, like, grapes and... A body warmer. Except, like, Mary and all that shit. It's amazing. <laughs> body warmer. Ball hats, you know, like the... the ball. Trilby thing. No, like a ball, I, I remember I bought a ball at a party at. Mine would be a pair of electric blue skin tight jeans. Bought one of them once, never wore it. There were the glam rock years where I bought a pair of cowboy boots and never wore them. <laughs> that or leather trousers. I've been trying to get him in them for years. I got um, some lip service of zebra stripe pants. He and, wears them though. Yeah, but every time I go to this, every time I go to the store, I'll see a pair of pants. I'm like, man, those are freaking gnarly, dude. And they'll be like crazy colors. He goes, dude, you know when you buy those, you're not gonna wear them. Because when I want to get home, I'm like, these are a bit too flashy, right? I don't know. <laughs> Black velvet crush jacket, and it's split in the back. I, I did it on Brighton Beach, and it's split right at the back. And uh, our manager uh, saw me in it the other day, and he drunkenly yelled at me and said, don't ever wear that in public again. Leather pants, but they were bell bottomed out. Bad. Assless chat. <laughs> I almost never wear old socks. I buy new socks all the time. This is a question for Sam because he's definitely got the more outlandish uh, style ideas than the rest of us. I got a pair of winter boots that are I've worn once and realized I look pretty ridiculous in them. And I bought a white vest the other day that was so long it was like a dress. Yeah. I, well, I thought I could pull it off, but I actually just looked like I was wearing a dress. Oh. I bought a uh, velvet suit jacket one time that I thought I was going to, you know, wear out, look really cool, but it doesn't work. Those glasses you get in Top Man that don't have any lenses in, they're just plastic. That was a good uh, look. I'll tell you that. Sleeveless bomber jackets one uh, Halloween. I had some boot cut jeans. That didn't, that didn't work out. That's my excuse. It was fancy dress. My wife found a, uh, a red pleather jacket with fur around the collar and the sleeves. And Andy likes to wear a hat, even on the hottest, hottest day. It's my magic hat, leave me alone, my magic hat. Ever the protector. It's not something that you could just put on, you had to wear it when you put it on. So. Well, let's talk about your little t-shirt there, Chris, because that's pretty fucking wicked. Oh yeah, yeah. This, is, this is a good t-shirt. I don't know about guilty pleasure, I mean, I'm, I'm fully representing with it. Something, something 80s with shoulder pads, I'm sure. And it, it, it combines all the things I asked her to. Death, animals, and reggae. No one's even got style. What the fuck is style, anyway? Next question.